All right, before we jump in, I want to say welcome back to part two of Immortals of Avium. The first video did really well. Even though it was a sponsored video, I just had the urge to kind of keep playing. I know we kind of left on a cliffhanger as well, so I'm going to go ahead and jump back in. Thank you so much for all the love and support. All the likes greatly appreciate it. If you want more of this game, just keep it up. I feel like I'm talking kind of fast, sorry. <laughs> Do a lot of intros, and I just start speeding through it. So um, I want to say right now that the support of my channel in 2023 means a lot to me. So... Really can't thank you enough. Let's go ahead and jump back in. I'm not even sure we left off last time, but I just know that we're going to be jumping straight into a fight from what I remember. So, all right, here we go. Shit. Sir, a Rasharnian airship wearing Order of Masks colors just flew over my location. Going to check it out. Negative. I need you back here. We know it's headed in the same direction anyway. It's not bearing for the front at all, sir. They seem interested in some kind of temple way out here. An Order Magnus is beyond you, Jack. Debatable. Sir, it's the hand. You're sure? Okay then, definitely sure. This just got very important, sir. Agreed. You're clear for recon only. Follow, but do not engage. Find out what the hand is looking for. Kirkin. Maybe engage a little. This is where I stopped last time. All right, here we go. Jumping straight into combat. All right, let's try this out. Woo. Hold on. Take some of that. Meta crystal. Hold on. Ready? Nice. Say green is still my favorite. So they all hopped down in the hole right there. Okay. Went ahead and show that cutscene again just because I felt like it was kind of pivotal, you know? Man, on the first video, so there's like certain things I... I didn't really want to like bring up, but... What other games this kind of reminds me of, stuff like that. But one thing I was struggling with, and it's not the game related, I just... On shooter games like this, I've kind of went away from using controller. What is that? So they just all hopped down here. Oh no. Yeah, I was kind of... I think we're good. I was definitely, like, getting some struggle on with uh, aiming. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I looked at the main menu before I loaded in, and it says we're 22% done with the story. I don't know if this is, like, a short game or what, but I guess we'll find out. Hold on, there's a lot in here. Hold on. We got... Now, if I shoot stuff, is it... It doesn't come over here. Okay, never mind. This is going to be one of those puzzle things. Okay. Here's the only issue with that. If I shoot it once, does it stay lit? Let's just watch it for a second. I'm not sure if it's not always going to be like a timed event or what. Oh my god, I almost thought I fell in for a minute. Alright, so it stays lit, so we're good. So really, is it just as simple as shooting the other ones? I lit up one, okay. So now let's look at the other side. We got this one, and then up here. Here we go. Nice! This area reminds me of the uh, God of War Ragnarok. With the light and dark elves, you know? That Tower of Light, I think it is. What is this? Alright, feel free to pause it if you want to. I've been kind of just like, every time I edit videos, I just keep the game open pretty much after I get done. So I've been trying to like edit like right after I get done.
low. on me, huh? The hand just goes away. Got gotcha. you. I don't know, it's like green How do I and this one it? I feel like are my two favorites. Alright, exit the temple. I mean, they just flew out of here, so what am I supposed to do? Maybe it's a puzzle? Oh, you know what? It probably is. I wish you could just like select it normally. Oh, wait a minute. Is there another? Hold on, is there another way? It says to go back that way. So what is this? So why is this here? What's well, odd? Maybe we try, uh... No? I thought we could move it like the statues we moved before, but I guess not. Okay, let's just get out of here. Let me collect whatever's available first. Guys, forgive me, I recorded that first part maybe... a couple days ago, actually. So I'm kind of getting used to the controls again. The combat's really smooth. Okay, when I come over here, it goes up top. Oh, maybe? Wait a minute. Yeah, we gotta run up it. Okay. We're not going up that way, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, there's stairs over there. Okay. It's been an excellent year for gaming. And I feel like this game's no exception. It's like constantly playing good games is just never a bad thing, I feel like. I want to get something. Hold on, what is this? Green vial. Okay. So now what? We just leave or what? What? Can slaughter enemies. Oh, okay. How long does it last for, I wonder? Yeah, it goes away. Wish I could, like, reverse it now. Okay. So whatever we do, we gotta run for it afterwards. No! Ah, oh, I keep trying to time it. So what I think we should probably do is do this. Just put it wherever. And then go up. I'm going for it. You still with me, Jack? What happened to the hand? She rabbited with some kind of artifact. Aristane by the look of it. I couldn't stop her. Understood. Get back to the front as fast as you can. We've got soldiers pinned down by that howler near the West Passage Gate. I'm on my way. Wonder how we get in there. Hold on. It's like a Metroidvania type thing where you can't like access certain areas until later. Or... I don't know. 
Either way, we keep it moving. I thought the first hour of this game was excellent, how they got like the different characters. What is that? I feel like we're about to fight. Like big time. Have some of this! Got one! Alright, I think we're good. Top off. Very nice. Essentially, when you see me doing all that, I'm just reloading everything. There's gotta be a boss. Here it is. Oh my god, it is. Somehow that actually blocks. Nice. Pretty crazy fight. I was not expecting to fight a dragon. <laughs> what's like the what's the range on this? That does so much damage. Yeah, I feel like this might be best for bosses that are pretty big, you know. Look at that damage. That also does a lot. I think I blocked it. Now. There's some healing somewhere. Uh, here we go. That did a lot. Nice. Woo! First try. Let's get it. Oh my goodness. That was a seriously cool fight. They're retreating. You had something to do with that. Just doing my part, sir. You did well today. Thank you, sir. But the hand of Sandrak. Any idea what she might have taken from the temple? I'll look into it. You, though. You're going to be late. Get to the Palathon. Selection starting soon. I mean, the Palathon's kind of a hike. Isn't there, like, a field promotion you could do? Nope. Come on, you and me, ushering in a new tradition? Battlefield selection. No more long lines, convenient- Dismissed. Because she believed in me. What's that? That's why I wanted it. Won it. So bad. I need to prove to myself Luna was right.
All right, chapter four. That dragon fight was actually insane. I wasn't expecting it, to be honest with you. I thought I was gonna fight like a giant, like, knight type enemy, you know? <laughs> I need some healing. Hold on, what's all this? It's like a blacksmith for each, I guess, element or whatever. Can't talk to everybody yet. Okay. Hold on, let me look around for just some healing. Like break some crates or something, anything. We got something up here, hold on. That's just gold, okay. Captain Soko. Jack, the big day finally arrives, huh? Yes, sir. That news traveled fast. Koken might have led on that she thought you were ready for selection after this campaign was over. Uh, uh she led on to me. Okay. Especially about you. Wow. I never got that read. At all. The whole time. Ever. Like, ever. The crippling uncertainty made you fight harder. <laughs> Maybe. So how's the road, sir? Too dangerous for my liking. This close to the Palafon. You should visit the forge and get your gear sorted before setting out. Good idea. I'll be back. Alright, use the forge. Here we go. Golden essence to buy new gear. Packs, upgrade your gear. Sigil variants, okay. This is brand new. Okay, what do we got going on? Legendary. How would I already have that? Unless it's like some kind of pre-order bonus. <laughs> Which would be insane, actually. So why is hold on the damage on the javelin is insanely high, but the Lorator fire okay, yeah capacity is also lower. We're gonna definitely put this on. Blue magic power okay plus ten it goes to plus fourteen, but it also gives us the other thing as well. Interesting. We have to craft it. Okay, what do we have right now? So I was wondering every time we picked up some kind of essence, I was wondering like why are we doing this? You know. And now it makes sense because you use like. 20 of the blue. I mean, I don't really know if I want to invest into this just yet. Let's see what else is available really quick. Because that's like for only blue stuff. What about rings? Anything here? Uh, Blue magic power plus 20. Interesting. So it's just crafting. So what do I currently have available? Oh, wait a minute. So these... Hold on. I know what I need to do really quick. Let me go to my actual, like, gear. I'm going to equip the actual stuff I want to use because these are insane. What is this? Oh, crit damage, 25%. Shatter damage. I mean, I feel like I should go with the 117, right? Double capacity, though. I mean, it makes sense. I guess 60 times 2 is 120, so it'll be a little bit... I guess either way, it's fine. I'm going to go with this one. And then these are about, well, that's completely different too. Okay. Nothing else on that one. We already have that, so we don't need to craft it. What is in this spot? Putting all the highest things I have right now. This one's insane. 15 to everything? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Allow me to just uh, <laughs> put on the Immortals ring. Good gracious. What in the world? And then bracers. All right, 75 armor plus 25% shields. Blink recharge time. Um, go with that one. So I don't really know what or how I even got this one. I'm assuming it's like the deluxe edition type thing. Whenever I get codes for PS5, normally it's always like the maxed out edition. So I'm assuming that's what that is. All right, what can we upgrade? It costs 16, but it costs... Okay, it's going to increase the damage by a little bit. And crit by 2%. Let's go ahead and do that. 
our first upgrade, okay. What about this one? 4,000. I'm, man, I'm really close to, uh, let's deconstruct some things, shall we? Uh, deconstruct this one. First time seeing all this, so I really don't think I need to go through everything just yet. I have no idea. It's like... I guess it's all tied to that. Okay. I want to see if I can upgrade the rings because I feel like the two rings I have equipped are insane. And it does increase it, but you need one of... Okay, you need 777. Interesting. This is the same thing. I feel like this might be the best one. Alright, I think I'm good. Does it change the way it looks? Oh, it does. Look at that. That's so sick. Open the gate. You'll need to be cautious, Jack. We've got incursions large and small around the clock here in Lordsville. The wound drifts have collapsed near the Oroman border, giving Rashan's airships a beachhead they've never had before. It feels like it's growing faster, huh? When I was a kid, the wound was just this abstract void my friends and I lived over. I never really knew how much of the world it had swallowed up. Ask me. It's a true enemy of the Everwall. In their endless fight for magic, the Magni ignore the Great Wound's relentless advance. Don't tell Kirkin I said that. When you're right, you're right. See you later, Captain. All right, some open world time. We'll see him, all right. So does the actual shooting thing change? Can't really tell if it's any different or if it sounds different or not. All right, I'm gonna travel. Here we go. I wonder how open world this game is, or if it's like set areas, you know? I really like the RPG aspect of this game. All right, can I go? Hold, what is that? It goes up. So do we just? Well, now I wanted to bring back down. <laughs> bring back down. They said there would be puzzles. Check it out. Assuming we go this way. I mean, is this the only way up here, I wonder? Uh, what did that even do? It's like it... Hold on. Look outside. Oh, it changes that. Okay. Interesting. So what we gotta do is, since it's a time, do we gotta run back? I'm assuming we get on top of it, and then we go even higher. All right. Wait for it. All right. Time to go. That's a lot of gold. Was that the whole thing we're trying to get was just that? I mean, it's a lot of gold. Don't get it twisted. I just... I was expecting something else. Oh, yeah, there's a crystal. There's crystals everywhere. So there's a lot of hidden stuff in this game. All right, let's head back down. Well, actually, I need to... Uh, can I just hop down? There we go. Probably going to stick to the critical path for a little bit just since the game is so new. Uh, I'm just really curious what's going to happen. Oh, we're going to fight along the way. Oh my god. 
Is it always going to one-shot, or is that just the upgrade I got? Oh my goodness. Can already see an increase in damage and stuff. Does that do anything? Oh, watch this. It's a very cool world. It kind of reminds me of Horizon a little bit. Like the character models and stuff. It looks like a... A realistic, futuristic area, you know? If that makes any sense at all. Probably not. Oh, come on. Wait, they can... Oh, here you are. How you doing? Hey, what? These enemies look like Yoshimitsu from Tekken a little bit. <laughs> it's like throwing me off. What was that, Tekken Force or whatever? I forgot what Tekken had that. It was like a, a beat-em-up, Streets of Rage type thing. It was kind of funny. Oh, they got shields down there. Let's, uh... So you can actually just break the shields by shooting it. I kind of want to get close. Some of this. Did I just die? I literally... Okay. Note to self. Stay away from everything. Good gracious. Gotta be honest with you. I was not expecting to die so quickly. Alright. Let's go to the other one. This is a hard hitting one right here. If I can even hit him. There we go. Almost wish I could like zoom in sometimes. Like... Kind of ADS, kind of, you know? <laughs> I love how he just rolls. I'm going to keep my distance because that enemy absolutely cooked me. I mean, I probably could just do this, right? Hop up. Really, nothing. I guess it has to match, so. It's good to know. Alright, open back up means we're free to move around now. Alright, so we can go over here. Kind of loot around a little bit. There's like hidden things randomly. I think it's really cool how they've kind of got the game set up where you can explore, just run through it. I'm gonna do a mixture. Health crystal, nice. What is this? Torpid, okay. Let me top off my health. <laughs> Just running around the rooftops. Alright, Shroud Fanes. What is this? Compete their challenges to gain special rewards. Okay. Who just shot at me? Oh, wait. What is this? So if you step on that, you take damage? Oh, there's more of it back there. Hold on. I'll also check this out. Oh, we're actually being teleported somewhere. Uh-oh. Here we go. Rains on this, I wonder.
Natania. Alright, same kind of shield. Slows him down a little bit, nice. What are these enemies? Oh my goodness. What just fall off? I think it did. That was gone too. How convenient. Oh, wait. Oh, let me top this off so I can at least grab this one. These don't seem to be timed, but. Alright, that's also done. Alright, this must be the ending right here. More gold. That's all it was. Interesting. So you get rewards. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, health stone. Interesting. Yeah, the health increased. Okay. That is awesome. So is that like the end of it? Or do we just, just teleport back, right? Yeah, that was actually kind of cool. And it actually increased our overall health, which I feel like in this game, there's not really a lock-on feature. There's not like a... Uh, we have the proper dodge and everything, but it just doesn't seem... I have no idea what these even do. Once you shoot it, I'm assuming it's linked to something else, right? All right, that's where we're going. Man, this is like my favorite time of year. I cannot wait for Halloween. <laughs> I'm so hyped right now. My son for the first time going to see, you know, just people dressed up. It's going to be awesome. Oh, no. How do you fold a bridge like that? What in the world? All right, well. Looks like you can climb the side of this almost. Well, I'd run. actually, no, never mind. <laughs> Had an idea there. All right, same as last time, where I think we actually have to hold it to animate it, and then we use the other stick, and it lowers it down. Okay. Now I think it's gonna be timed. We gotta hurry. So this, okay, this is a single shot now, which is kind of cool. The roads? I'm not gonna say it's great out here, sir. Any word from the Palathon on my uh, appointment? Is that nerves I hear? Nervous about what, sir? Trying to join the most elite Magni order in the world? Even failure is a chance to learn, you know? Not helpful. All right, here we go. Oh, we made it. Look at this area. Getting close to the Palathon. 
Should look for an entrance to a skiff bay along that wall. You know a game I keep thinking about when I'm playing this, and it's nothing to do with it. But it's just like the armor and everything else. I'm thinking about like the Godfall type stuff, you know? That game that launched the PS5 and... Not even sure if it's still around or not. Can we actually... Hold on, is this going to mess us up? Let's see. We're just like standing around and everybody's watching us. I don't know. Nothing there, okay. That rotates that. We gotta link it together, I'm assuming. Okay. Wait, what? Let's think about this, hold on. So that's locked into place, unless I can shoot it back the other way now. And you can, okay. All right. Oh, it hits that. <laughs> Let's try going this way, but I think... Yeah, it doesn't go that way. That's weird. And if I try to shoot the green to go the other side... Hold on. Nothing. Okay, that actually moves, but it's also going to hit that. So let's just do this again. Move it over there. Do that one first. I'm thinking it's going to still hit that side. I just heard something opening up. That's weird. Okay. I thought we had to like link things together, you know? So now let's try it. What happens if I shoot this again? Well, I guess you can only shoot it on the side it's not glowing. It's gonna hit that, right? Yep, okay. Let's see what this does. So this is all lit up now. My question is, what is the actual point? Uh, okay. So we did everything right, I'm assuming. These aren't linked together, though. Okay, I think we have to get all of these glowing. Every single last bit. So what I'll have to do, I'm assuming that... This is not gonna move. It's gonna get hit, it's gonna stop. Okay, but that's still glowing. That's what you want. And it's not going to go the other way because we actually have to go in reverse, essentially. So let's try doing something really quick. That goes across. That lowers those. There's a green one. Okay. Hmm. Now this changed. So it was the other one. We can't interact with anything there. Okay. And you don't really shoot these. It seems more like... There's another eye thing up there, too, I think. Okay. Hmm. What is this over here? It's the same thing as last time. We can craft... Okay. I don't want to craft anything because we had a lot of stuff we could already use. And... I don't think I'm not sure if I like. So we have this one. It does pretty good amounts. Having the three capacity just feels a little better, I feel like. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to upgrade this one. And I'm going to equip it. And this one I'm also going to upgrade. Kind of, hold on, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure this out. So if we want to, like, put... So we can actually change which element goes into which thing. So if I wanted to, like, put this on... So, like, right now we're using... This is equipped. But we also have this one. The rate of fire. Okay, it's a different one. Never mind. Yeah, because these are going to be a lot higher. I think we're good on everything else. Uh, let's see. Red magic power. A little bit higher. Like the rings are just so useful, you know. 
Let's do this one right here. Or, hmm, it keeps going up. That's insane. Man, I really don't know. Fury damage. How about we just keep upgrading this one? Doesn't seem to change at all. And now we'll get this one. Very nice. All right, let me just try to like figure this out. I might be here a while. Give me one sec. All right, so I've been on this puzzle for quite some time. I'll come back to it later on. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but there are three boxes. We got this one, the one over there, and they all kind of control, like none of this changes. I know what you're supposed to do. It's just a matter of getting it done. I can get the top two lit, but then this one gets stuck. I was thinking maybe the puzzle was you could act, like maybe uh, change which side is actually glowing. I also tried doing like the slowdown thing, you know? <laughs> Let's see if it actually worked. None of that worked, so. And I don't think shooting this really does anything. I didn't see a change unless something did happen. All right, anyways. I think I'm supposed to go to the other side, yeah. All right, back to the story. Here we go. You're an immortal. Orfe the seer. Kirkens told me about you. And your Kirkens foundling, the Candle of Shaled, answering our question about the atrocities of Rashan. I'm um, say what now? Forgive us, we lost our train of time. You will be answering our question shortly, and then you arrive at the Palathon. Your train of time? Got it. Weird. We're still waiting. What? Oh, uh. The three atrocities of Rasharn are the burning of the House Calaman Magni, the poisoning of the Wraithwind, and the enslavement of the Kalalish Guildmasters. Acceptable. And your Kirkens foundling, the Candle of Shaled, answering our question about the atrocities of Rasharn. Okay, I think the train left the station again. Can I go? Of course. Good luck. Here we go. All right, chapter five, the immortals. What how many chapters are in this game? It's a list of the dead. There's so many, no one can remember all their names. I never knew there were that many immortals. Oh no, it's everyone across Avium that fell in the Everwar. The Palathon tracks it somehow, all the way back. You know, we're still not really sure who built this place. A bit morbid, really. Having a massive death list right when you walk in, now that I think about it. Oh, hello. I'm Devin, by the way. Just got back from the front. Jack, stationed at Yilthium Fields the last few weeks. I'm from Serum, originally. Is that right? I've never met anyone from East Lucio. And you still haven't. Said I was from Seren. Ah, oh, nice. A little provincial machismo. Let me show you around, Jack. Promise it's not all a big down. I, uh, really need to get to selection. Absolutely no idea where to go. Come this way. I'll show you. I remember Kirken talking about a Jack from Seren a few times. Said you'd make a great immortal one day. Huh. She... Said that? No. I'm just trying to calm your nerves, man. If you don't mind me asking, how long have you been an immortal? Oh, ages. Well, a few years. But immortal years are like dog years. They stretch on and on. So you're the best of the best? You sound doubtful. It's a cheery disposition. But the Rashanians have sent writs of assassination to every quarter asking for my head. I'll get some of those writs myself just as soon as I look up what writs are. I'm sure you will, especially as a triarch. We don't get many of those. Well, any of them, actually. So what's the secret? How do you do it? Don't know. 
I just do. I see. You just do. No need for hard work and discipline when you can just do. Good lesson for the kids. Is this part of selection? You busting my balls? <laughs> no. Selection is much worse. We're almost there. Got another one for group five. No. Oh, stop. He'll be your star pupil. Jack here's the soldier that was crucial to the rout at Yilthium Fields. Kirkin's pet initiate? I'm literally standing right here. The path is ready for this group, and I'm not asking her to reconfigure for one more. She'll complain and give everyone in the Palathon nightmares for a week. Get ready. Those doors open, you go in, one at a time. Come on, Zendara. You know the path already senses he's here. Okay, why are you talking about it like it's alive? It's not happening, Devon. On the one hand, nightmares brought about by a cranky magical gestalt conscious scape. That's okay, ignore me. It's cool. On the other, a stern lecture from Kirken for playing needlessly hardball. I know which one I'd pick. You weren't here for my speech to the selection candidates, Initiate. So I'll give you the short version. So it is happening? Shut up. Welcome to the path. Stepping through that door means you think your magic is strong enough to issue a challenge to the Pentasod. That you fear no judgment or censure for doing so, and that your life word to the ley lines is forfeit if you're found wanting. The really short version? Don't fuck up in there or you're... <coughs> like... For real? More like absorbed into the path and removed from existence. But don't sweat it. I believe in you. She definitely thinks you're going to die. That's why her face looks like that. But don't let it shake you. And anyways, optimism is a moral imperative. I'm Zandara of House Cadus, Warden of the Path and oath sworn to the Immortals by ancient treaty. It was nice knowing you, Jack. Hero of Yilthium Fields. A smarter man than you would have ended this day on a high note. Isn't she great? All right, that's it for part two. Hey, thank you all for supporting this series so far. Hope you're enjoying the videos as well. It means a lot to be able to like and support. If you want more of this game, just keep it up. I love you all, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. All right, take it easy.